today. So please make sure that first of all, you hit that notification bell so that you know when I do videos just like this so that you can get informed, stay informed and keep with the trends that are happening out there today, both in health and wealth. And uh, obviously, you know, YouTube is busy going through whatever it's busy going through at the moment. And it is obviously deciding that crypto videos, i.e. wealth videos are not important at this moment. And they are doing whatever they're doing to uh, not promote them across the board. So obviously your liking and your sharing of this content, these videos on my channel would be greatly appreciated. And I thank you very, very, very much for doing that because obviously each little like, each little share, each little subscription to the channel and each little notification really helps the channel to grow. It helps to spread more love and more energy in the space of health and wealth. So please go and do that right there right now. And thank you all very, very much. I really do appreciate you all. You blessed, beautiful souls. Ah. Now let's get on to the video for today because I've got cool things I want to share with you. Guys, I see this crypto I, my video two days ago crypto pumping have we bottomed um i still don't believe we bottomed you can see here i made two videos that were very different one is crypto market cap uh, capped to 400 billion so this is basically me telling you that it's going to fall down even further whereas here i'm asking you has crypto crypto has been pumping have we bottomed yet yeah i think we're pretty close to the bottom nobody can predict the bottom or the top at all uh 100 however it's showing signs that it could be the bottom but that doesn't mean that it is the bottom so let's go and see what is going on in the market before we do that as you guys know on my uh superfoods business synergy organics we since yesterday we've been doing a 50 percent off uh, Black Friday sale on our top sellers. Um, that's Hemp Seeds, Dreamful, Belly Burn, um, Baobab, Cacao Nibs, and uh, Dreamful. So get yourself here and sort yourself out with this incredible superfood nutrition. Getting yourself 50% off of the beautiful foods. Please make sure that you come here and get yourself that 50% because that 50% is going to blow your mind out the water. It's going to change your life. It's going to make you healthy, happy, strong, blessed, and abundant uh, as always. You guys can always see that I'm always in full, beautiful energy and uh, really doing my best here to make sure that we are sharing an abundance in this channel. So uh, come on over, check it out, see what it is that's going on over here. Make sure, I mean, we, we, we sold so fast out on our belly burn. Um, it's one of our incredible products. So we sold out extremely fast on that product. And wow, guys, as you can see, out of stock already. So um, pretty awesome. Thank you for everybody that's been shopping here online with us. We really do appreciate it. Great to join the community. Thank you for joining the Synergy Organics community. And uh, for more links about that, go check down below. We've got meal plans, health plans, detox plans. All kinds of plans to get you and your family happy, healthy, and strong in abundance. And that is what we do, and that's how we do it. So let's get on with the video, guys. Let us go and see what is going on in the market today. Um, with the, obviously, everything that's been happening. I think, guys, there's an exceptional amount of news out in the market today and over the past few days that shows us that the FTX debacle goes extremely deep. It is literally the biggest scam in, in, in all of history, not only in the financial markets, but um, in, the, um, in the crypto markets too. So very scary, um, but also very cool because as I said to you guys, if you're buying crypto at this point, <whistles> damn it. You don't even know what your future self is going to say to you. Your future self is going to be so appreciative, so grateful, and so thankful to you that you took action today and in you invested today for the benefit of your future self. So with that, the cryptocurrency market cap is down 1.2% for the day at 864.5 billion. Uh, the trading volume has come down substantially to 46 billion. Bitcoin's market cap dominance is 36.6. That's also fallen. Coins are staying the same. Bitcoin is down slightly for the day at 16452 ethereum is at 1181 bnb is at 295 uh, ripples at 41 cents dogecoin at 8 cents 
Cardano at 31 cents, Polygon at 83 cents, Polkadot at 529, Litecoin at 727. Uh, I'll talk about that one, but I think uh, it would be decent to put a little bit of a sell in there um, at the current level. Uh, Shiba Inu, 8.91. OKB, uh, 20.69. Solana at 14.15. Uniswap at 5.35. AVAX Avalanche at 12.69. And Chainlink at 6.78. Interesting, incredible. Thank you very much for that. Let's go and see what's going on here in the Fear and Greed Index. So the Fear and Greed Index I see has been pretty much working at about five, uh, sorry, at the 20 mark for the past couple of days. So very interesting to see that because as I said to you guys, I see that it could probably end up coming down to single digits again if we were to continue to fall a little bit lower, especially down to the 10,000 level. And that would just be absolutely phenomenal and excellent for us. Because at the end of the day, we want to accumulate when the market is in fear and we want to sell when the market is in greed. So yes, the market bounces up and down in between both of those levels. But at the end of the day, we want to be, we want to be buying in the red zone when there's a lot of sell pressure. And we want to be selling in the green zone when there's a lot of buying pressure. Interesting, right? Because a lot of people, retailers, people like yourself and myself, although I've learned a lot now, um, generally tend to start buying from this kind of level and then they catch a little bit of a ride. They get so excited, they buy some more right at the tip of it and then boom, falls flat on their faces and then the fear immediately drops back down. So we're, we're sitting at extreme fear of 20. Very interesting, cool, absolutely awesome point to buy at. Uh, let's go and see the crypto market bubbles. Very short touch up on the news today, guys. We are rocking and rolling. And um, yeah, certainly looking forward to beautiful energy and connections here within the space. Let's just make sure that my, my charts are loading. I wanna just close up so that we give the computer energy to run. You know, it's like, when you have all of the tabs open, it's like running with bricks. Each of those tabs is like a brick on your shoulder. The more bricks you have on the shoulder, the harder it is to hold and run. So very interesting. Um, anyways, so the crypto bubbles today are mostly in the red, of course, because we're down in the crypto market cap uh, at, at the 860. 860 level but i'm gonna have a total i'm gonna have a look at that market cap in a short little while and you're gonna actually see what it is that i'm saying so uh let's just wait for the content to load content loading content loading content loading okay she's not working right now so let's come here over to the news for the morning so Uzbekistan's issues first crypto licenses to two local crypto stores. Amazing, well done Uzbekistan, you're doing incredible. Independent research verifies uh, G, uh, GBTC 633K Bitcoin, so why won't Grayscale? Who knows why they won't do that? Bitcoin price still due uh, 12K dip, says trader, ETF guru backs uh, GBTC. Bitcoin miners look to software to help to balance the Texas grid. First time bear market advice from uh, uh, Bitcoin bull, Michael Saylor. Binance aims to allocate 1 billion for crypto recovery fund. That's incredible. You see, you know, there's channels out there that are speaking very badly about CZ and, you know, and all of this bullshit, man. Just leave the man alone. You can, it doesn't matter what he did. It, it matters what he's doing today, okay? And what he's doing today is that he's changing the way that the market is. He's trying to help the market. And I agree here with, with CZ. I think he's amazing. I think he's done an incredible job to, to call out, to call people's bluffs. I mean, we've literally been playing poker with people's money and people's lives out here and livelihood. It's not cool out there, guys. Um, this FTX debacle goes so deep. Um, SPF is now literally on the run. He's able to go travel freely. There hasn't even been a case from the DOJ that's been opened up against him. Uh, you know, this is crazy shit that's going on out there. Why, are, why can that kind of person steal 15, 14 billion from the market and get away with it on top of it and still be free to roam around, still go roam around at events? I mean, 
if I were to go and steal 10 Rand from the bank, the bank would arrest me and I'd be thrown in jail for 10 Rand. I mean, that's $50 cents. That's ridiculous, guys. This guy has stolen 14 billion from the market. So, you know, very, very unethical practices. And we can actually see how deep the, um, the deception and the, the, in institutions all around in governments in you know regulatory environments all of this there's so much manipulation and people are being paid and you know supported and that's why they'll support the people the criminals the criminals get away with so much stuff but yet the good people that are trying to really make the space work and grow like bit uh, like bitboy and cz and MM Crypto and Carl from the Moon and some of the other guys and the Altcoin Daily, you know, these are people that want to see the space grow and succeed. Michael Saylor, they want to see the space grow and succeed. I don't want to see people like this still 14 billion. I mean, that's crazy, guys. FTX didn't even have one Bitcoin on their on their exchange to back their reserves. That's crazy. I mean, please don't even play games here, guys. Crazy people. Crazy stuff. So make sure that you know what's going on because the the depths of this just gets so blurred by the deception of media it's manipulated and controlled so guys make sure you come and just review and look at the things you're in the space for long term you're not a short-term trader if you were a short-term trader you'd know what i'm talking about you know what i'm doing so it's unlikely that you're a short-term trader. And if you aren't a short-term trader, then you should consider yourself a long-term investor. Very different, very different strategies. You can buy coins, you can dollar cost average into positions, especially when positions are in the red. Like I've been saying to you, the best place to buy is when coins are in the red. So, you know, at the end of the day, you don't want to be, you don't want to be caught with your pants down, guys. So. Let's go out and have a look at the, the Bitcoin chart and let's go and see what's actually going out on out there. And let's make sure that our charts are loaded before we come in and, and get to them because I definitely want to be just making sure that we are all here together. Okay, so. Okay. All right, that's the okay. We can start with the Dixie if the Dixie is the one that's opening. Okay, so guys, uh, I did a few other things here yesterday. So I, I drew a couple things. I didn't get to do my video. I was trying to find out why my sound wasn't working, but now I've got my sound working here. So absolutely awesome. Uh, so basically, yesterday, what I saw here is very interesting because this is the RSI. This is the stochastic RSI, obviously, guys. We all know that we don't need to go fuzz about it all. Um, and what I just wanted to share with you is that from this point here, boom, boom, up to there, you can see that we made a higher high, but and same thing here. Now, from this point downwards, okay, we've literally been making lower highs and lower highs and lower lows and lower lows. Now, the same thing's been on the candles, lower highs and lower lows. Now, for me, guys, that means that there is resistance on the dollar, okay? You can see that it's been heavy red. It's been weighed down right here at the breaking point of this purple box. And if we can break this purple box, the likelihood of us coming down to about, yeah, I'd say, I'd say this level, the red line is probably the next level that will come down to about 104. So that's very interesting because if we can push down a little bit to that level, that means we'll have a little bit more of a push up in the stock market and in the crypto environment. But that doesn't mean that that doesn't mean that we're going to be on this massive crazy bull run because that's not exactly what is happening so let's go and have a look at the bitcoin chart because the bitcoin chart is speaking a very very specific language and i'm going to say to you guys right now the way that it's looking um i really feel as though i really feel as though we've hit a level of resistance yet again and what happens when we meet levels of resistance let's go and have a look Important levels of resistance, rather, let me speak and say that. Important level of resistance. <laughs> Important level of resistance. <laughs> Yellow line. Important level of resistance. Very important level of resistance, turquoise line. <laughs> Crash through it. Now we're at the next level of important resistance, which is at this 17K level, which is 
as you can see it's under my purple box it's just about under my uh, trend line since uh, end of middle of August here okay it's trying to break up but it's not it doesn't look like it's being successful the ribbon is pressing pre pressurizing it down the purple box is pressurizing it down the stochastic RSI is about to pressurize it down yes we might have broken up a little bit here yes there is bullish divergence because there's lower lows here um, in the immediate time frame and higher higher lows here which means that there is a bit of bullish divergence so we could try and break up and try and come back up to maybe this turquoise line up here at 19 18 and a half 19,000 if we did that that would be absolutely amazing at that point guys I'm gonna say to you unless we break through volume with volume this turquoise line punch up break through this level here maybe hit this yellow line and then pull back to to retrace to find some support on the turquoise line here the 18 and a half thousand level guys I'm gonna say to you this is a good place to take some profits um, very good place to take some profits and perhaps yeah I, I wouldn't suggest getting into sales but if you know what you're doing and we're expecting to come down to the 10,000 level that would be a very good place to sell Bitcoin and obviously then uh, take profits at around the 10,000 11,000 level my target as you know is 9,975 so very very interesting in the space here guys happy Thanksgiving to all of you beautiful Americans out there today and happy Thanksgiving to the rest of the world I know you don't celebrate it but um, let's give gratitude and thanks to everybody let's give gratitude and thanks to all of the platforms the computer the technology that built crypto that the people that were involved the earth's resources and materials to make these items uh, the the computer chips etc thank yourself for being in the space and learning about it thank the mentors that you follow the institutions that speak you know thank to thank you to all the beautiful energy and positivity and even thank you to all the negative energy because the negative energy is also teaching us where and what we do and don't want in our lives and that is critically important here so I love you guys and I appreciate you and thank you to my community I find such grat deep gratitude inside you guys and your beautiful energy and your love and your tenderness and your kindness so thank you I really appreciate it please make sure if you can for me pull up that like button smash it tear it apart do what you need to but make sure that it's blue um, when you hit that button please okay guys um, on to Onto a very interesting chart, the S&P. If the dollar pushes up a little bit, like I say, if Bitcoin can push up a little bit, we might push up to here at the very were at the very strongest point, maybe the orange line. At that point, guys, I'm going to say to you that uh, yeah, I'll be seeking. You know, uh, we might be looking for a further downturn here. And the reason why I'm saying this, guys, not because I want to join the bandwagon for everyone for the downside momentum, but actually, if the housing market is busy crashing. Um, you know at the end of the day I'm gonna to want to show you that if the housing market is crashing that literally that is the entire house of cards that falls that's more than 40 trillion dollars in the market that's going to collapse and I'm not saying it's gonna go from 40 trillion to zero it's not what I'm saying but it could end up going from 40 trillion to 10 trillion who knows at this point but the housing market is collapsing and that's fundamentally going to affect everything else because the housing market is an extremely liquid market when you can trade those assets in and out sell and buy properties okay it's liquid okay so the same thing on the Nasdaq here guys the same kind of chart is busy pulling out at the moment although the Nasdaq seems to have be seems to be breaking above a little uh, resistance trend down with trend line here um, you, you know it could be running out of steam here this if it doesn't break this little high here it's going to create a lower lower high and basically you see here because we've got two lower lower higher lows and here we've got two lower highs at the moment but we're still in the current trend we're above the ribbon we're above this line we're above the purple box we're above the red line so it's a good the, the Nasdaq is looking pretty decent okay if we can get a retracement on the Nasdaq pretty much back up here that would mean that we would see that perhaps that 24 25,000 level up to about 30,000 on, on BTC okay which is phenomenal ETH is also showing us the same thing as Bitcoin guys the correlation actually looks pretty it's not identical but it looks pretty close to one another and um, you'll see that within the space 
the same thing is busy happening. So we didn't break this low here, although, so here we didn't break this low, we didn't break any of those lows. However, we did break this trend here. So we've still got downward pressure from the moving average, the long-term down, uh, plus the higher lows, etc., that are busy happening, uh, lower highs that are busy happening here, excuse me. Um, so yeah, very, very interesting stuff. Now, I wanted to go and show you quickly the total market cap and the US bonds before I get on to my next chart, which will probably take me about eight, eight to 10 minutes to speak. So thank you for your patience because I'm sharing with you a coin that could minimum do a hundred X. And um, yeah, this has the potential to do even a thousand, maybe a 10,000 X, but uh, I'll show you why. So anyways, guys, this is a total crypto market cap. So as you saw earlier on CoinGecko, the market cap was at 864. So this chart is giving us the most accurate market cap at the moment, currently right now in this moment. And the current crypto market cap is essentially sitting at about 784 billion, not the 864 billion. So there's 100 billion that's basically been unaccounted for within this. I'm not sure 100%. And if you do know, please comment below why that would be. Um, but basically, the market cap is just showing us a little bit of downward pressure. We're still under the, the turquoise line here on the market cap. And guys, like if that is the case, we've got uh, these lows were lower than this low. This, these highs are lower. So the trend is still down, okay? Which means that we could still continue to fall further. There is the next if it breaks this yellow level here at about 700 billion, the next point is about 50% down and about $330 billion market cap, guys. That's insane. Insane. Okay. That would say that the market still has about 50% to draw down from where it is currently. Okay. We've already had about a 74% 70, uh, drawdown. And normally the average is about 80%. Um, and the previous, the wire, not the previous cycle, but the previous cycle before that, that was at 86%. So very interesting. We still have the, that kind of percentage to drop down with, but let's get over here right now and let's see what's going on in our chart with the crypto market cap, a market cap excluding Bitcoin and Ethereum. That current market cap is sitting at 323 billion. So you can see the altcoin market cap is essentially about, makes up for about 50% of the entire market cap at the moment. That's what I was saying to you. Bitcoin is about 36%. Ethereum is about 14%, which would mean that the rest of the crypto altcoin market cap would be about 50%. Isn't that interesting, right? 50% of the money is still sitting in the crypto in altcoins. Guys, I'm saying to you, people are telling you to run away from altcoins. I'm saying to you, dollar cost average into this position, not financial advice. But if the signs don't do what people say, do what people do. Okay. And you can see here that this is exactly what's going on. People are doing what? Staying in the market. They're retaining their market cap value within the space. Doesn't matter that we're at a very pinnacle low point. I mean, look at this. It's saying that we're going to come down a little bit. So people might be wanting to exit a little bit more of their money. If that is the case, we have first line of resistance at about 20 billion lower. The next line of resistance is about 70 billion lower. And the next line of resistance will be at about 200 billion, 210 billion. Guys, that is still pretty decent. That's about only 30% of the altcoin uh, market cap that would be liquidated. And I'm saying to you, that's not a bad place to be in the market cap. So get the coins cheap. If it falls dollar cost average into those positions again, get more of them. Yes, it might hurt your portfolio if you bought freaking up at 65,000, you might have zero on your portfolio, but you're still holding the actual coin, the actual crypto. Don't worry about the dollar, forget about if, if whatever, you got BNB, uh, BNB USD, uh, USDT. Don't worry about the USDT. Go and look at your BNB value in a Bitcoin value, okay? Make sure that you're looking at that because your Bitcoin value is increasing. That's what you need to be fundamentally grabbing from the market is that your Bitcoin value is increasing. Okay. That will give you much more value in your portfolio and holding in your portfolio. So, um, 
before I get onto that freaking awesome crypto, I have one awesome crypto and one other chart that I want to show you. And um, yeah, I know this is a very long video, but I, I, there's so much stuff in here that I really just needed to show you. I wanted to share with you. I wanted to get through some of this yesterday. And unfortunately, my sound card wasn't working, uh, but I found out what. I had to just go on the computer and literally just click uh, enable and disable one or two of the uh, sound, sound system settings. So. Uh, thank you for the patience in that in my video. Uh, the UL, what's going on here? I would very much like to see that. Okay, let's go and have a look at, yeah, okay, cool. So I just wanna show you this quickly on the day and we'll quickly squeeze through it on the week. But this is basically the US government bonds 10 years, okay? Look at this the other day. Boom, smashed through the roof, broke above resistance immediately. If you wanna see breakouts, this is what you wanna see, okay? This is a breakout, okay? Which means that the US, uh, the US 10 year is very likely going to go a little bit higher at this point. Although it is extraordinarily and extremely oversold on pretty much all of the, um, all of the indicators. On the weekly time frame, we're very, very strong. Although if you really had to look at this properly, we're creating lower highs and lower lows so we're pretty much yeah and you can see for a very long time we've been in a sideways action but there has been now more volatility over the past little while so let's go and close that up i don't need that chart for right now um and i want to come and have a, a look at this before i go on to my cryptocurrency that i want to show you <laughs> okay so Guys, this whole ESG thing, I'm sure you've seen BlackRock is failing to go through proof of ESG, which is causing crazy stuff in the market. This whole bullshit about ESG, environmentally, socially, government, I mean, I mean, please, really, go and do some research on this. Your solar panels, your your wind turbines, all of the stuff associated to those items and items that are similar to that in this space are a bunch of profiting bullshit, okay? Yes, it works. Yes, it's undeniable that it works and that it helps. But if you go and look at your due diligence and your facts, you'll see that it's not earth friendly, it shouldn't meet carbon credit stuff, it shouldn't meet um, environmentally safe governance. I mean, please do your due diligence on this, guys. It's so important to know your facts when you're speaking, especially speaking to the audience or to your family and your friends, whatever it might be, to your public, to your community, to your business people. You need to know your facts. And if you go and look at videos all across the internet, you'll see what they do. On top of it, I'll give you a very very basic example once the wind turbines um, uh, panels are um, sorry uh, propellers are are beyond repair there's nothing else to do with them they literally take them go and bear, dig a hole with a fossil fuel running machine cover them with a fossil fuel running machine dig a big hole put them in the hole transport them across the world wherever they're getting buried bury them in that hole, cover them again, and then hopefully what? They're gonna just break down in the earth. And maybe in 10,000 years, if somebody wants to build something there, now they have to dig and like get rid of all this shit. Guys, it is so backwards. We really have to find that in social community, we really need to go back to the basics. And by going back to the basics, that's what Bitcoin and crypto are helping with. They're helping break down the, the crap in the markets, okay? Because essentially, yes, the noise is there. Yes, the big boys are there. Yes, the people are there. So trade with what's going on. That's important. Don't lose money, okay? But trade with what's going on. Now, Uranium and this company, especially Uranium Energy Corp and the UXC, if you go and look at them, Uranium Energy Corp has a potential to, uh, and, and, and Uranium Industry has a potential to a thousand X because it's renewable energy, okay? It's different. Yes, you have to go and mine it, but there's 
there's uh, carbon footprints that they're using to offset the way that they mine, which is great. Replant, rehabilitate the lands, etc., that you're mining from. So these coins or these stocks have the potential to a thousand X in the near future within the next decade because once we start switching over from fossil fuels a lot more into uranium fuels and um, biofuels and water-based fuels we will see and this whole bullshit about water is crap through harp and manipulation there there's a whole bunch of stuff. Go and do your own research. I don't want to speak this stuff on my channel here. I'm speaking about health and wealth. So go and find out about that stuff because that stuff affects us, man. The bullshit that they're saying that we're running out of water. I mean, look at the ocean, guys. Got a whole ocean full of water and it continues to rain and the cycles continue. We just need more desalination plants and those are there. Like we can churn and recycle our water. It's not what has been told to us by these big corporate companies like BlackRock and these other freaking companies. I don't care how big they are. When they're hurting people like you and me in our community and they're affecting us negatively, we as a community need to stand up as one and we have a louder voice than they do and we have more power than they do. They might have more money than we do, but we have more power than they do and we can also say no. So, this is incredible. I need to show you this. This is Hot. This has been heavily capitulating since the market fell back in May, June. Okay, when the market collapsed in June, look, this didn't actually fall, it didn't break a new low, it's been sitting pretty low, it hasn't broken the three dollar level. And in fact, since uh, the end of September, September 23rd, here we have been creating an uptrend now. Okay, we're gathering that momentum to break up. Look at the ribbon, the ribbon is basically saying we need to come out of the space. Look where my, my, my apex is. My apex is literally the last day of this year. We have to find a way to get out of this, this apex here. So, or this, um, this triangle here, which is going to tell us that we need to find a way to make a change. There's continuation trend pattern turning here. This is looking like it wants to turn. This is looking like it wants to turn. Guys, I'm going to tell you, if you haven't invested here yet, you need to make sure that you can afford yourselves to invest in a position. Even if this goes from here to here, you've doubled your money. Imagine if this thing had to 1,000x, go from $3 to $3,000, okay? You literally would take, if you put in $100 and it went up that much, 1,000x, you make, with $100, you make 100,000, no, sorry, $10,000. Like, that's a no-brainer, guys. That's really a no-brainer. So... I really hope that you are protecting yourself and your family in the future. Let's get on to our crypto that I wanted to speak about because obviously the video is dragging out and I know you guys don't like watching extremely long videos. Nobody has the time, but there was so much beautiful, valuable information in this video that I really just needed you to get hold of. So let me smash a sip of water. Okay, let's get on with this. Okay, so Veracity. Veracity's got a huge community. It's on 130K people's watch lists. We're down a little bit. That's okay, not a problem. Its current market cap is sitting at only 29 million. What? <laughs> 29 million, guys. Uh, I didn't even wanna joke around with you. Okay, so circulating supply, 10 billion. Total supply, 110 billion. Maximum supply, 110 billion. So what they're basically saying is they'll never, at any given moment, their circula circulating supply would only be about 20 billion, okay? The rest of it is basically for institutional investments to buy up equity in the company um, to help with this potential uh, utility and growth um, and obviously uh, to help the, the company grow in this space. So its trading volume is 6.5 million which is very interesting. It's fully diluted valuation is 318 million. We are officially at the lowest we've ever been uh, pretty much on this crypto. You can't really see it. We're down 96.7% um, since November. Oi, 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 oi. Hold on, okay. So we're down 96.7% uh, from a all-time high, uh, it's all-time high. 
Uh, where was oh yeah yeah all time high uh, 80 uh, 8.6 cents okay then we're up only 44 percent from its low last year february 23 okay which is great guys for me if you're buying veracity at these cheap prices when it's only like this i mean some of the other coins that are showing you are like 10,000 and 13,000 percent from its all-time lows and are even down that much so there's a lot to say for this market guys those of you who are skeptical go and do your own research find out for yourself i share these videos so that you can learn um and and hopefully invest so basically 96.7 percent down uh, from its all-time high its market cap is 499 and its market cap dominance is only 0.03 percent that's insane guys i don't even know what to tell you let's see how much a hundred dollars would buy us of veracity today hundred dollars would buy us call it thirty-five thousand uh, uh veracity okay that's phenomenal guys now what i'm going to show you guys is the the cryptocurrency um, veracity let's go and have a quick squiz here now veracity let's go and see what the project is about and then i'm going to show you the news on veracity and then we shall uh do some calculations and then hopefully end off on the video pretty soon oh did you hear that click guys oh did you hear that click Woo -wee! <laughs> let's get this party started in here okay so let's take veracity very seriously right now so what veracity is is basically the the veracity is an all uh no i don't want vera wallet just hold your horses right here where is let's go across to the first one yeah come back yeah okay so veracity the future of esports digital entertainment and ad tech is on the blockchain experience the future in which esport ad tech and the digital content economy are powered by blockchain okay we'll go and look at their roadmap shortly vera wallet so you got veracity wallet where you can come and do some staking uh vera esports accelerating the evolution of esports with blockchain to access world-class games and gaming content layered on superior technology at an intersection of the esports crypto ecosystems okay let's see what this vera views uh, so blockchain based solution to end video ad fraud so all, you know all this shit that you get under the videos on your youtube videos where there's a whole bunch of scammers posting stuff and commenting on your videos this is going to verify if you're real or not and if your ad is real or not and if your video is real or not and yes you'll pay a small little bit for that but rather pay and not have scammers on your community and your channel and have a clean report and clean energy and get rid of the fraud that is busy happening out there veracity is going to blow your mind it's almost like a it's not a security blockchain but it has the effects of a security blockchain and practically preventing nft fraud with an intelligent authentication module that's freaking amazing guys I, I can't even tell you this project is so amazing i invested in this project a little while ago and i continue to just uh, add add to my bag that's what you're doing you're adding to your bag like if you buy ten thousand coins today and you buy another ten thousand coins next month and you buy another ten thousand coins in six months like you're adding to your bag and then what you're going to do is you'll be able to come over um and i actually just want to show you quickly the vera wallet okay so let's go and quickly have a look at the roadmap so q4 for 2022 product vera view simplified very use onboarding uh, process for publishers and partners expanded problematic ads proprietary consent management platform uh, website revamp uh, help center launch this stuff is amazing guys they've pretty they've pretty much ticked off uh, most of q3 stuff um and they've got all of q4 stuff to to tick off right now these guys are ticking things off like crazy tick 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 these guys are doing they're not just saying they're doing i mean look at them they've been around since 2017 um and I want to go and quickly have a look at the Vera Wallet because I just want to show you guys something here quickly. Uh, I won't log into my profile, please, because we know fraud, what fraud and scam can do on the internet. But I just want to go and show you here that on Vera Wallet, when you uh, buy Veracity, um, you can come and stake here and you can come and stake for 18.25% per year. What? Did you just hear that? 18.25%? So if you 
bought 10,000 of these and you came to stake it, excuse me guys, you would be making 1,825 coins over the course of the year. Chilling, for free, doing nothing, sitting down, doing whatever you're doing, spending time with your family, and if each one of those coins hits the specific price that I'm about to go and describe, you're gonna see what's gonna come out for you. Another cool thing about Vera is that uh, we can earn Vera by watching, so viewers watch rewarded content and ads on selected sites to earn veracity. So we can earn veracity um, by being able to go and watch videos and watch ads that they share with you. That's freaking amazing. So come here and come and earn yourself some Vera, okay? The wallet is used by over 300,000 people um, providing 18% for the, the, the year. So let's come on over and let's do the, the, the news quickly on this. Okay, so Veracity. Advertising technology based on open ledger principles. We have the first patented, patented ad tech protocol on the blockchain, Vera Views. So come on over and check this guys. Veracity secures patent, this was one day ago. Veracity secures patent approval for rewarded video in the United States. The patent titled System and Method for Reward Video Viewing covers all forms of reward video, uh, vastly increasing Veracity's commercial use cases. Now, not only have they done this, but they've done it in Korea as well. Um, these guys are going to summits, conventions. Yeah, let me just give you a like. They're going to in increase, in check here. Hugely important milestones for, for POV and Vera views. Korea is one of the largest crypto markets in a brand-led environment, very concerned about ad fraud. Veracity Tech is working with local publishers, so this patent award has come at the best time. Check out this. So they've got it in Korea. They've got one of the, as you said, one of the biggest trading uh, publishers. They've got it now in America, in the USA. So guys, two of some of the biggest places on the earth. Can I even tell you what the heck is going on here? Do you even want to find out? Yes, let's go and find out just something very, very simple here, guys. Now, Veracity, let's get our sweet little calculator out here for you guys. Okay, currently, if Veracity is sitting at... Okay, if Veracity is sitting at 0 0.228, let's go and see if we were to go and do 100x. In fact, let's take the whole thing. Copy. Okay. If we were to paste this in here. Okay. So. Might have been type easier for me to type it in. Okay. Zero. Points. Hello, what's going on here with my calculator? It's not, not really working. It doesn't wanna it doesn't wanna talk to me. Come here, calculator, come here, come talk to me. Okay. Zero. Okay, there you go. Uh, eight zero. Okay, so let's leave that like that. So if this was to 100 x guys. Oh. Okay. Let, forget the cal calculator, yeah. If this was to 100x, okay? That's 10x, 100x would take us to a 28 cent level, okay? If it could take us to a 28 cent level, that would be 100x. If we were to do 1000x, we could go to a $2.80 level. Now, could we get there? Yes, we could. Um, I wanna show you something. Let's go here and let's look at what the market cap would look, would look like if we were to do the same thing. Copy. Calculator, clear. Let's paste it in there, paste. Okay, times, oops. What's going on here? Okay, boom. Okay, market cap times 100. Okay, would give us a 
2.9 billion dollar market cap now that's that's a relatively easy target remember i said to you on some of my videos that we would be targeting a 200 trillion dollar market cap and if veracity today is only 0.03 percent 0.003 percent of the market cap what do you think 2.9 billion is in that it's still going to remain pretty low okay so if this thing was to a thousand x okay we would have a 29 billion market cap that sounds more doable for something of this nature and this kind of thing think of youtube all of the videos on youtube will eventually have to sign up to veracity and have veracity approve the ads that are running on there like this is a software that's going to be used insanely okay across the board 29 billion market cap that's easily achievable for a project like this i'm going to do one very more simple um uh calculation here because i still think that this could 10,000 x to a 299 billion dollar market cap if it did 299 billion dollar market cap we would probably be at a zero be at a 0.03 percent of the entire crypto market cap when it reaches 200 trillion dollars okay that's insane guys now let's just stick to the modest energy of where we're at right now if it's previous all-time high was at 0 0.086 okay divided by 0 0.00286 let's see what we get so when it just hits the all-time high we've got a 30x on your money so you invest a hundred dollars you'll get three thousand dollars back and remember if you're earning rewards 18 percent for a year let's just say that takes three years you're now compounding three years worth of investment to get you that you might end up with five thousand uh, dollars from a hundred dollars investment because you left your money there very interesting guys so earning 18 18 percent i just want to show you something quickly if you had to buy one um if you had to stake your veracity as i said the ten thousand and you were getting uh, 1,825 veracity, and you had to divide that by 12 months, you'd be getting 152 veracity a month, okay? 152 veracity a month at the all-time high, okay? Time high price would be 0 0.086. Will give us $13 a month. It's only if you have 10,000 veracity. Guys, 10,000 veracity is not much, it's like $30. I'm just saying to you, if you're putting in $30 and you're leaving it there for a year and, at the, and it hits the all-time high and you're making 1,825 coins a year and 152 a month, you'll be making $13 a month at that point. You invested $30, but now you're making $13. You're making nearly 50% on your money a month. Guys, that's insane. Insane, insane, insane gains. Okay, so now let's get, uh, let's do this quickly. Um, oops. Okay, 152, so 152 coins a month. Let's just say we get to the 100x, okay? Takes us to uh, zero. So zero point to eight okay let's just say we get to the 100x there now your 30 dollars will now be making you 42 dollars per month what the heck you ask <sighs> this is the thing about crypto is that the price is the price and this is in us dollars so you take and you bank your profits and you put them into bitcoin and ethereum but yes mostly bitcoin so guys um this is insane okay and i wanted to show you that if you're making 42 uh dollars uh, a month imagine if you had to put a hundred dollars right now and it's getting you thirty-five thousand coins okay let's do the math okay you're putting in a hundred dollars you're getting thirty-five thousand coins okay times 18.25 percent gives us 
So we'd be making 6,387 coins a year. Okay. Divided by 12. Gives us 532 coins per month. Okay. Times by, I'm just going to put the 100x mark here because you can see what I'm doing here now. 0 0.28 cents. Just say 100x is your money. Just say it reaches um, the 100x point and, and that's all. In fact, let's do the previous all-time high. Okay, 86. Just, just as an in case. So it's 532 points. You'll be making $45 a month. Okay. When you invest $100, you're literally making 45% a month. Now, if we were doing 532 coins a month and it hit the 100x, we'd be sitting at 28 cents a coin. Okay. You'd be making $148 a month. You'd be making 150% gains per month. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. That's insane, guys. So let's go and see quickly. And remember, that's also compounding. It's like compounding on compounding on compounding. And you guys want to know why crypto is so good? Well, now you know. Um, let's just do here 532 times 12 I just want to show you quickly in a year what you would make from your $100 when we hit the 100x mark uh, 0 0.28 0 0.28 okay 0 0.28. you would be making $1,787 in the year from $100 investment guys I can't even tell you any more about this you guys just need to know that there are cryptos that can do this there are cryptos that are going to explode i want to see i actually i want i want to do this with you guys i want to i want to go and see 532 okay so if we were to hit the 10,000 x or the thousand x level at two dollars eighty two dollars eighty okay yeah because that's a thousand x uh a ten thousand x would take us up to a 28 dollar veracity which maybe in about 10, 15 years would be, would be good. And if you're patient enough to wait for that, absolutely awesome. Um, but a thousand X, okay. Sure, guys. Times $2.8. You literally would be making from spending $100. Guys, here's, here's the math. Look at that. Here's the math. You spend $100, okay. You kept it in for one year and just say shot for whatever reason it shot up to the two dollar eighty price and it sat there. That's obviously our very ideal. Um, who knows what could happen? But five hundred and thirty-two coins times two dollars eighty will give you one thousand four hundred eighty-nine dollars passive income on your mind in your hundred dollars, guys. That's fourteen times your money in passive income already. You can take your money and walk away like you never lost anything. You gained incredible amounts. Now, if I had to times that by 12 in one year, you would be making $17,875 on passive income. Okay. Uh, do I have your attention right here? I do. I know that I do. So please hit that thumbs up for me. Like my channel, subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you know when I do videos like this so that you can see. Guys, for whatever reason, this does this. Okay. If you're holding onto this Let's just say, okay, let's just say you got your 35,000 coins uh, plus, and you hold this for five years. Let's do a calculation for five years. Uh, 18.25. And let's just say the percentage remained the same. So, oh, sorry, that was meant to be percent. Uh, 35 to 3 uh, plus 18. Ah, yeah, 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 is not moving as fast as I am. Plus 18.2 percent gives you 6,370. Uh, now, watch this, okay? So now that's in our bag. So we started with 35,000, we now have 41,000, okay? Now, let's just say you're keeping it for five years, so that's your one. So we'll go again, plus. 18.25 percent now we've got 7,553 coins that we've made in year two equals now we've got 48,000 in the bag okay 
So year three, eighteen point two five percent gives us now eight thousand nine hundred thirty one coins in year three as passive income. We're now on fifty seven thousand plus, and now year four, eighteen point twenty five percent. Now in year four, we've got we earning ten thousand five hundred coins. Okay, in the year. Now we're up to 68,000 coins. And in year five, plus 18.25. And let's just say you want to take some profits in year five because it hits that $2.80 level. Uh, okay, now year five, we've made 12,000 coins. We literally have 80,923 coins. Okay, that is more than double what we've made in five years. More than double our money in coins coins but if you invested in these coins at the 0 0.28 cents and you now have 80,000 coins that you bought at this price call it just like 220 dollars that it will cost for this okay and, and i'll do the calculation properly now but you took this and you times this by 2.80 okay at that point your hundred dollar, your two hundred twenty dollars would be worth two hundred twenty six thousand five hundred eighty five dollars. What the fuck? Crazy, right? Absolutely crazy, guys. Um, let us have the fun and make sure that we are all clapping together, okay? Because we deserve that. So. Thank you very much for watching my video here. This is a crazy video. I know it was one of the longest videos I've ever done, but I had to do this because there was a lot to talk about. There's a lot being going on in the market, a lot in the space. So make sure that you come on over, smash my like button for me, please. I love you guys, appreciate you guys, and I wish you all a blessing.